Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm excited to show you my latest custom Lego model, which is this kinetic sculpture of Sisyphus endlessly pushing his boulder. So before I explain how all the mechanics work, I thought I would show you the base of the model where I have depicted my interpretation of some of the scenes of Sisyphus's life in this Greek relief style. On the front, we have him and his chariot and horse attacking some of the visitors to his kingdom. This is actually Hades in the underworld being chained up. He was actually supposed to chain Sisyphus up, but Sisyphus managed to turn the tables on him. Here he is hosting a dinner party and stabbing some of his guests. He really was a pretty evil dude. This is Zeus who finally had enough of his shenanigans and punished him by having him roll the boulder up the mountain. And of course Zeus cursed the boulder so that it would always roll back down when it got to the top. The stand also opens up in the front and the back. So you can really see what's going on on the inside. Right now I have it powered using this Power Functions M motor and battery box, which you can just turn on. You can also disengage the motor just by sliding this gear to the back. And once that's done, you can close it up again. And you can see that there's an axle sticking out of the back, which you can attach a crank to, and then you can operate it manually. So let's take a look at the mechanics. Of course, I have this standalone model, so you can really see what's going on. And it's all driven by this central shaft in the middle. And if we take a look at the legs first, you'll see that it drives through these two gears to this crankshaft at the bottom here. And that drives the leg pushers, which are just simple beams and they are attached to the feet at each end to give that nice fluid walking motion. The drive shaft also drives this crankshaft up here through this Technic chain in the back. And that crankshaft drives the body pusher, which basically behaves the same as the leg pushers. The geometry is just a little bit different so that the body doesn't move as much as the feet. At the same time, it is also connected to the boulder through these two links here. And the boulder pivots at its base. And that way, as the body rocks forward, the boulder also moves forward. And that way we get this nice bending of the arms, which really makes it look like he's pushing the boulder. One important thing to note is that the drive shaft is connected to the rear crankshaft using a 12 tooth gear meshed to a 24 tooth gear. And that way, every time the legs go through one full motion cycle, the boulder and the upper body actually go through two cycles. And in that way, every time either of the legs gets pushed to the back, the boulder and the upper body move forwards. If you'd like to see how it is built in more detail or even try and build one yourself, I have created building instructions for the core model, which you can find over at jkbrickworks.com. As always, I hope you enjoyed the model in the video. Thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next week.